So um, next question that people have is the frequencies. Because we have so many frequencies, a lot of people want to know what's for what. Right. So we have the master collection, and that is actually seven albums of frequencies. So it's not seven frequencies. It's wow. seven albums of frequencies. Each album has multiple frequencies in the album. Okay. And, um, and most of them will have a low, a mid, and a high version of each frequency. So people are kind of wondering, well, which one is the high the best one, the mid the best one, and the low the best one? But it's really for you to experiment with, right? So I would usually just start with the middle one. That's usually the, you know, the one that works for most people. And, some, and then what you do is just use that one. For example, the Life Force one has low, mid, high. The middle one is the one I use the most. Sometimes when I feel like, uh, you know, a higher, I need a higher vibration, I'll use a high one. Sometimes I need a kind of lower vibration, I use a low one. So these are kind of like harmonics. Okay? If you play music, uh, if you play a chord, da, 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 that's, a, uh, that's a chord, right? So they're all part of the same chord. They all kind of uh, resonate to the same tune, but then each one has a slightly different expression of that of that harmonic. So that's what these are. They're different harmonics of the same frequency. Uh, so there's a lower harmonic, middle harmonic, high harmonic, and some of the albums have up to like eleven harmonics. So uh, so what you do is just experiment with it and then the more you use it the more you meditate with it you're gonna discover that oh wait a minute this one i really like it makes me feel really good or this one no i don't really like this one it makes me you know gives me a headache or it makes me stressed out so you really have to experiment yourself i cannot tell you that this is gonna you know frequency number five is gonna work for you or frequency number 11 is gonna work for you it really depends on the person everybody's um body is different everybody's resonance is different right um that's why you know there's astrology that's why this ayurvedic medicine right everybody's different right right Parvinda? i totally agree like um uh, i mean it's good to obviously get educated about the frequencies by attending these type of webinars um however i totally agree because everybody's body is different everybody is unique so, um, you know, what might, what, like the, like, let's say even the pineal gland frequency may respond, may respond well with, with a, one type of person, like, a, you know, like a kapha, uh, but it might irritate uh, a pitta, which is a very, you know, fiery person. So, um, so definitely, like, give yourself time to get to know the frequencies. I tell everybody, think of it, think of each frequency, like, you're getting to know a different person or a different person that's entered your life. Take it slow, at least give it one week of just doing that frequency um, and get to know its effect on your body and, um, and just become really familiar with it before you move on and try a different frequency and, you know, and then give it time, like start with the low and then go to medium and then go high and then just, you know, figure out, at which strength it suits your body the best. Mm -hmm. So we're going to cover some of the uh, seven frequencies, just so you understand a little bit more about it. In my Chi Life Mastery webinar, I kind of kind of breezed through this, so I don't really go in depth. So now we're going to go in depth into what these frequencies actually are. So the first one in the album, this is one of the free ones that you can get on the app. It's called a Life Force Source of Chi. Mm -hmm. so this is the sound of Om and life force and the heart and the sun. So um, basically, we take in the sound of NASA of, from the sun, and then we created an audio signal from it. And for people who have meditated for um, many, many years, they start to hear the sound of the sun. And they say that that's the sound of Om. So this this frequency really opens up your heart chakra. Uh, it can help you uh, prevent your DNA from re degenerating. Uh, it can help be used to, uh, um, you know, energize your water, restructure your water. So it's very good for opening your heart frequency. It's very good for opening up, you know, basically all your chakras, but especially your heart chakra. And it's good for just general um, chi, general, you know, circulation and movement of your uh, of your energy in your body. So Parvinder, what were some input on this frequency? 
Um, this frequency is actually, it's basically what it, what it's titled, like it's a life force. So everything has life force and um, it's prominent throughout the universe and, and our bodies. And, um, and over time, what happens, like, if you look at children, they're abundant with it naturally. And, um, and then as we age, what happens, like, um, you know, with like certain trauma, like trauma happens, and, you know, we start eating, like GMO foods or processed foods. And there's so many different ways to increase our life force, but there's so many different ways to also decrease it. And so this frequency is actually a direct way of basically recharging your body with that life force. And then again, with this one, I would start on the low and then go to medium and then high. Um, just because like in the heart area is where, like in the heart center, I would say, um, is where a lot of people have closed um, over time. And so, and then, so when we put it around this area, it, will open up that energy but if you go too hard and too strong it can actually be painful so I would take it slow and then um and it can be it can either be a traumatic experience or it can be a beautiful experience so if you want it to be beautiful start at a low um low volume or the low the lowest frequency and then and then increase it um, and it's, you're right, like it's great for restructuring the food. It's great for restructuring your supplements, your herbs, even like your gold or silver, copper, platinum jewelry, anything that has life force in it will get activated um, with this with this frequency. Yeah. So uh, the first time I used this frequency, I felt a pressure right in my heart center. Mm hmm. So most people feel like it's kind of like a, like a solar plexus heart center. You feel like you can feel this pressure on it. So, and, and that's a purging sensation. So it's kind of like something yeah. pushing, pushing through. You have something stuck in a pipe and it's kind of pushing, pushing gently on that, whatever's blocking your chakra there. And then um, obviously if you push it too hard, then it's going to start to have too much pain. So you want to just gently push it a little bit at a time and eventually it kind of breaks down that whatever's blocking there. So um, that's my personal experience. And yeah, it's a life force, right? What, what, what can life force do? Life force can, you know, help you to your body to, you know, well, it wakes up again, right? Up so, and, and function the way it intended to when it was, yeah, you just generally will have more energy and circulation gets better. Um, you feel happier because you're more connected again to that universal life force. Yeah. So the next one is the Qi Energy Activation Album. And on here, I think there's two or three frequencies in here as well. Uh, so what this does is it um, tunes your uh, brain waves to um, about 20 hertz and, and also the harmonics of 20 hertz. So I use it for energy activation. So um, when you need that extra boost of energy, uh, this is really great for it. I really like this for any kind of exercise or any kind of... Um, uh, any kind of focus that you need. Let's say you have a, you need like, you need endurance or you need stamina. This is great for that. Uh, it's a health and focus boost. boost. Uh, so it, when, why do you need it? You need it when you feel weak, when you feel tired, when you have chronic fatigue. So it's great for that. Uh, and that's why I use it for. How about you, uh, Harvinder? I think this one's really good for clearing the mind. So if um, people are feeling sort of confused or they're, you know, trying to start a project or they're not able to brainstorm or stay focused, I think this one's really good for that. Mm -hmm. And also remember, um, most people actually respond really well to this one. Some people will get irritated. So um, again, start, start on the low volume and then increase it. And um, for the most part, I've had really good uh, feedback for, like, from, from the students in the course of, about this one. And so I think, yeah, kind of what you did, you did say that focus boost, but definitely, like I would say, um, it definitely helps people kind of channel their thoughts into uh, solution focused and, and just clear out, clear out the blocks. Mm -hmm. So the next one is called the Clarity Brainwave Balancing. And this is based on a very mathematical formula, 1.618, which is phi. 
and this is a nature's frequency because that's uh, if you look at the different geometries, like from coral, from galaxies, from um, whirlpools, from sunflowers, they all follow this pattern of 1.618. Even your body follows a pattern. For example, uh, the distance between your 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 fingers and then your hand and your forearm and your it all follow this this ratio of 1.618. So so this is nature's math. And what we did was use this mathematical equation and this ratio to create a frequency. And, uh, and surprisingly, the frequencies fall directly with the brainwaves, uh, brainwave, um, brainwave algorithms, for example, alpha, beta, theta. So, so what this does, what does it do, right? It helps you to balance your brainwaves. It helps you to open up some of your uh, brainwaves that you haven't been using. And it kind of relaxes and smooths out your, your thought process your thought processes, your, your, how your mind works. So your mind is, gets a tune up basically. Like a lot of times we are too, we don't, we're too focused. We're always in the, like the stress brainwave frequency is like um, alpha, right? We always in alpha too much. And we always stressed out. We always like using our eyes on our phones and our computers. We also use, always using that kind of like the, the uh, focus, you know, intense focus uh, brainwave. And you use that too much, basically you, your brain forgets how to use um, delta deeper sleep frequencies or uh, calm frequencies like beta and things like that, right? De or even theta, like really deep sleep uh, frequencies. So what this does is it, it balances out your brain waves so that using brainwave entrainment, because the more your brain actually experiences electromagnetic frequencies, it'll start tuning itself to those frequencies. So now it's like, you have a piano and then your brain's a piano and you've always been playing just one or two keys, but now you're, you're playing all the keys on the piano. You have 88 keys and now your brain can just operate and make music in such a much more beautiful and profound, profound way. Um, does that make sense? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So um, if you're experiencing mental stress, uh, if you, if you're experiencing some kind of like uh, mental stuckness, like you feel like you can't solve a problem now, what this can do is kind of expand the different brain waves in your mind so that you're firing all pistons at the same time. It's like a car, you know, you've always just been using one cylinder, but there's other, like there's five more cylinders that you haven't used, or there's like maybe seven more cylinders you haven't used. Now it actually tunes up those cylinders so that you get to use your the full capacity of the brain of your brain. So like it says here, uh, it helps you synchronize your brain waves, uh, opens unused parts of your brain, tunes your brain waves for, to the perfect golden ratio, which is 1.618, increases balance in your brain, makes you smarter, increases intelligence because now you can you know, solve problems in different ways and you experience a relaxed focus. So that's what that is for. The sleep delta theta. Um, so this are frequencies that tune you to deeper delta brain waves, which is, uh, crucial for your uh, mind to, to heal and for your body to heal. So it's good for people who are having problems with sleep, having problems with relaxation, um, and they, they need to really rest their body. A lot of people are just exhausted and because we're not getting quality sleep. So this can help you uh, improve your sleep. It's pretty simple. Um, next one, this is the pineal gland one. Can you tell us more about this one, Ravinda? Um, so the pineal gland one is uh, like it, sa it says activation. It is actually really activating. Um, so it is. A, I would consider this to be a more um, yang frequency. Um, it uh, it's amazing for you know working on projects. Like let's say something that would take you an hour to do it might only take you twenty minutes. Um, just because you're not procrastinating, you're like it's like laser focus on on what you're doing and then and then you're done and you, and you do it well so this one's really good for that it's also good for meditating um you can actually i would say you could even directly put it on your forehead while you're doing it on low volume or you could even put it on your heart center it will still work on your pineal gland even from there um it actually this one i i had a really good experience with this one um, I think the first time I did it, I, um, I felt like I really like I expanded and, um, I kind of went into a different state 
and it was pretty amazing like it was very um um it was it was like what medi- we what we kind of want out of meditation um where i became the watcher but i was also um i was also the watched so i was also the su- subject but i was also the the entity watching the subject it was pretty amazing um and so i would say it's a, it's definitely a good one to do projects it's a good one to meditate with so that's that's what i would use it for yeah. what would you use it for yeah definitely for meditating for visualizations for um you know getting inspiration uh, your, your pineal gland in, in the middle of your head, that's the source of your, your uh, uh, insight and the source of your, your mind's eye, so to speak. So um, it literally makes your, your mind brighter when you do meditation. Even if you, you know, mask out your eyes, you shut off all the light, you can actually see more visible light in your eyes. Mm-hmm. Uh, that you're, you're actually activating that pineal gland in your, in your, in your mind. So, um, yeah, it's very powerful frequency. So that's why it's for. So you call it enlightened. It's an enlightened frequency, which is exactly. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Makes the mind, I guess it makes your mind light. Um, Shiro said her visual, visualizations got better. Yeah. Yeah, it's visualizations or imagination gets more, um, more vivid. Right. Yeah. Here's, here's another one. This one's a very powerful one, the wisdom consciousness expansion. So recommended for intermediate to, for, to advanced meditators. And what do you use it for? To make your thoughts become reality and um, amplify your ability to manifest your intentions, activate your light body, get answers to questions, talk to God if you believe in God or higher power, you know, get, get, you know, connect to your higher self or higher power, get, get that connection and, 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 communication and that conversation happening strengthen your balance and balance your energy field induce deep meditation induce healing states of consciousness open star gates activate dormant dormant parts of your dna unlock your hidden human potential so this is one of my favorite ones because it's just such a powerful frequency mm-hmm. um, so would you use the yang um coil for this one i i would i can use both for the, of these i usually use yin for this yeah, expansion and yin is an expanding, expanding um, uh, direction. Yeah, so, um, you can use yang for receiving, for um, for contracting. You can experiment both of them. So it, I mean, just listening to the sound itself. I, when I first I had got this frequency, I didn't even have any coils. I didn't even have any devices. I didn't have like stream devices. Wow. I'm just using. I'm just listening to this and meditating with it, and then. That night, I had this experience, just like what you said. You, you felt that you were being observed, right? In time, you were observing, and it felt like it felt like I was in the in the in the big coliseum, and there were thousands and thousands of people looking at me. At the same time, I can see a coliseum and looking at myself at the same time. So, right, it's, it's a really interesting, and it's, it's interesting how you said you you had that experience yourself too. Yeah, it's it's amazing because um, when the mind doesn't interfere, what can happen with these frequencies? And I think um, I think I like that you like this one um, and that you connected with it, just because um, I think the what we want to become, if we match our frequency to that, we can we can become that. And what's beautiful about these frequencies is they're already made for us. So then we can just choose what, whatever it is that we want to vibrate to. And, and as we vibrate to that, as we match, as our frequency matches this frequency, then, mm-hmm. then our bodies become that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, um, and then the, this one here called the abundance of removed blockages. So this one is basically an infinite frequency. It uses infinite math. Uh, you know, one, 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 two, 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 three, two, three, and so on. Mm-hmm. And scientifically, it's what is used to create a zero point field, uh, a source of all infinite energy. And, um, but uh, practically speaking, what does it do? It is actually helps you relieve stress. So whenever I feel stressed, I feel stuck in a certain situation, I'm frustrated with something, or I'm lacking something. So right. I those things. We all feel any one of those three things. Feel stuck. 
you know, we want to move, we want to go to, to a new place, we want to go to a higher place or whatever, but we feel like we can't get there. We feel like something's blocking us, right? Yeah. We're really lacking something. What are we lacking? Sometimes we lack, lack um, energy, we lack happiness, we lack, you know, en- uh, money. Sometimes we lack, you know, uh, friendship or love, right? Mm-hmm. Sometimes we feel frustrated. We're, you know, working so hard and trying to solve a problem, but we not finding any solution. Mm-hmm. So a lot of us, we have these problems. So abundance removal blockages is exactly what it does. It actually, it makes you feel less stressed out and it kind of puts your mind into a mindset of positiveness uh, instead of negativity. Because when you get feel stuck, you start having negative self-talk. You say, you start telling yourself, I can't do this. You're telling, telling yourself, um, you ask yourself, why, 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 why? But that doesn't do anything. It just makes you more depressed. So you get into this depressed depression spiral and the negative self-talk that makes you feel even worse and worse so when you how to get out of it you have to really just change your frequency right with this and like whenever i play this it just totally changed my frequencies like almost like in with within two to three minutes i start feeling a lot better i stop thinking negative thoughts i start thinking more positively i start humming right before i was you know if i'm stressed out i'm like ah right like oh why it's not working and things like that and then after a few minutes of this, I start humming, I start singing, I say, like, what the heck? I just played the frequency, <laughs> my mood's completely changed. Yeah. From there, then things start to happen. Like for example, that, that lack that I've been experiencing, I found a solution to, to get what I need. Or if I frustrated, I found a solution. Because um, a lot of times the, the problems that we encounter is really don't even exist in reality. They just exist in their own minds, right? Yeah. When we want to... Can you give an example of that? For example, let's say I want to become more fit, right? Right. So one common obstacle is say, well, I was born to be unhealthy and fat, right? Right. Start thinking about that. And you make, basically you created your own blockage towards you being fit. Yeah. Or you think, oh, I don't have enough time. Oh, I don't have enough time. Or, oh, I don't have, you know, I don't have that energy. energy. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I'm too busy, right? Right. Well, if you say that, if you keep saying that, you start believing it, and you start believing it, you start acting on it, or not acting, and it becomes reality, right? So it all depends on what, so you created the obstacle in your own mind. Yeah. Right? And, and then emotions have, you know, that's connected to that, right? Yeah. Emotions are connected to what you say to yourself and what you say to yourself programs your subconscious and your subconscious determines your actions and your actions determines your destiny. So it all depends. So your emotions make a big difference, but what makes a difference is the action. But then with, when you change your emotions, it makes it so much easier to change your actions because you, now you feel like doing it. So what I'm saying is, is um, if you're feeling stuck or poor or feeling lack and frustrated, this can change your emotions, help you to feel more positive, help you to think more positively. And by doing that, you remove the, your own blockages the, between you and, your, and abundance. So whatever you want to achieve, is it, whether it's financial, physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual, whatever blockages you're experiencing right now, I would say 90%, if not 100% of that, is just created in your own mind. It's, is not most of the time it's not external it's an internal blockage that you created yourself so uh so having so changing your emotion and changing how your mind works to be more positive would automatically basically solve a lot of problems for you open the doors to possibilities that you never thought would be possible what do you think uh, yeah i i i'm 100 percent with you i think um, a lot of our a lot of our limitations we feel limited, but it's actually us that that is um, limiting ourselves. And once you experience, you know, feeling like this, um, like with this frequency, um, like you take respons- you can also take responsibility for for yourself, your success, or lack of success. So once once you actually feel physically in the body where the blockages are actually removed whether it's in the mind or the body or both because they're they are interlinked i think um that's when movement happens whether it's mentally physically spiritually 
you know, energetically. And, and the whole idea of energy is, is to keep it moving. So I think this is definitely a good one. Um, I, I'm going to try it myself just because it sounds amazing. <laughs> okay. So those are the seven albums in the Master Frequency Collection. Uh, there's also the advanced frequencies. We don't have time to cover all those because there's a lot. Um, but to summarize what the advanced frequencies are, they're just more advanced uh, meditation frequencies. They all have very profound effects. Each one, you know, takes time to, for you to kind of learn and for you to experience. So, you know, if you're serious about experiencing, you know, uh, and, and experimenting and exploring other uh, ways of meditation, other um other frequencies of consciousness, then I highly recommend you to um, test those out yourself, the advanced frequency section.